anybody remember when I played in the track of the, the, the demon growling? It was one of the most hardest songs. I mean, the girl, her head would twist and she would, I mean, when you go to try and help her out, the, 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 the things would be moving in the house because the demons were just so strong around her. Demon would lift her off the bed. You, 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 you think it's a Chucky and, and, um, and, um, uh, 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 exorcism. Uh, 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 exorcism, yes. These things are real. They did something would lift her off the bed and shoot her over the side and all kind of stuff. And, and I came into the environment to try and help this girl out and oh I cast out so many devils but this girl was giving me trouble, 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 trouble. Every time I cast out the demons by the next night, it's like the, it's like it's like a nest of demons come back. You know, the first time the demon manifested in the place, right? It wasn't me this way. I was standing up there and doing ministry, and all of a sudden, I just said, Oh, there's a devil here. And this girl just, her eyes rolled up and she started roaring, and the me, the whole church empty up the room. <laughs> and I have to run them down. I said, Please do not come back. I can deal. With this, they had never seen demons cast out before. I said, Hold on! And they stood up at the door. And I said, You faulted in Jesus' name. Come out. And she screamed, fell on the ground, coughed, and blew the demon, and came back up and said, Wow, I feel so good. And I saw them then come back into church. Because they were afraid. Please do not be afraid in this place today. Amen. My purpose of telling you this story is that bad this young girl went on and how comes I could not get this demon out. I talked to the mother and the mother was the one that brought the girl to me to send the daughter and need help. And the mother was speaking in tongues and binding and helping me to cast the demon out. Finally I went to pray. You see prayer? Let me tell you this. You see prayer? Sometimes you just need to dress back. Stop trying all kind of thing and just go pray. You're working with something that's not working, just leave it alone and go pray. And I went and prayed, and the Lord said to me, Shake the mother. I said, No, man, but the mother, the mother, bad man. And the Lord says, You're really bad. Yes. And the Lord says, Search our purse. So I came back the next night and I said, Lady, have you been involved in the dark side? Oh, no! So I said, baby, can I look in your bag? She said, no. No, can't look in the bag. And she was mad at me. And I just feel the blood of Jesus. And she twists up on the bag, flew at me. And brother, what dropped out of the bag? My God, with people name, oh and the daughter's name was wrapped up in the car. And I said, "What are you doing with this?" She said, "Her mother told her that if she gets rid of this, the child will die." And her mother went somewhere and she went with that mother and a poor young girl is caught in the midst of this. And she is tormented and she looked at her mother and said, Mama, don't you see what's happening to me? Why do you do this? Why don't you let go of these things that I can be free? Right. And so I left them there to discuss it. That woman refused to let go. She refused to let go. It was one of the hardest things. So I had to go and try to deliver this girl without her mother. So I learned new strategies of cutting spiritual umbilical cords. And I said, since the mother want to stay this way, you know, I have to leave the mother alone, but now I'm interested in trying to get the daughter free. And boy, that night, 
when that demon opened up mouth, we could smell like rotten eggs just float through the atmosphere. And the girl screamed out and grabbed me and up me. And she said, thank you, thank you, thank you. The demons are all gone and I can be free to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. Somebody say amen. How great is our God.